My name is Cameron, and I'm a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the time zone for your Amazon Relational Database Service database instance. Let's get started. By default, all Amazon RDS database instances use UTC slash GMT upon creation, and changing the time zone is optional. Even though using UTC is a best practice, one reason being that it does not require daylight saving time changes, you might need your database to use your local time. It's a best practice to convert to local time within your application instead of changing the time zone of your database instance. But if it's necessary, be sure to consult with your database administrator or application teams before changing anything in RDS. Note that certain RDS database engines such as Microsoft SQL Server require specifying the time zone during creation and can't be modified after the instance is created. Look for local time zone for Microsoft SQL Server database instances in the documentation for more information. You also must be sure that your RDS database is using a custom parameter group that you created yourself because the default parameter groups used are not editable. Let's dive into methods for each RDS database engine, starting with Oracle database instances. There are two methods that we'll go over here. The first one is the time zone option, which changes the time zone at the host level and affects all columns such as sysdate. The other option is using the alter db time zone, which changes the time zone only for certain data types and doesn't change the sysdate. Using the time zone method. First, navigate to the RDS console by searching for RDS in the search bar. Determine the option group that you are going to use. You can create a new option group or use an existing option group. For this example, let's create a new option group. If you already have an option group available, go ahead and skip ahead to the option edition. Select Create Group. So enter the name for your option group and a brief description. For Engine, select the edition of Oracle for your database instance. Also, select the major engine version. Select Create. Next, let's add the time zone option to the option group and then configure other settings. Note that if you add the time zone option to an existing option group that is attached to any of your database instances, a brief outage occurs while changes are applied and your database instances are automatically restarted. Now, select the created option group. Here, select the add option. For option name, select time zone. Under time zone, for example, I'll change the time zone to US Pacific. Select Apply Immediately. Finally, select Add Option. Now, apply the option group to a new database instance that you created or an existing database instance. Again, note that for an existing database, a brief outage occurs while the database instance is automatically restarted. Select the Oracle database instance to apply changes to. Select Modify. Scroll down and select your new option group. From here, select Continue. Verify changes, select Apply Immediately, and then select Modify DB Instance. Finally, verify the time zone by using the following command. using the AlterDB time zone method. First, navigate to the RDS console by searching for RDS in the search bar. Select the Oracle RDS database instance that you want to modify, and then select the endpoint that you want to connect to. Use this endpoint to connect to your Oracle database instance from an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance using the following command format. When you're connected to your Oracle RDS database instance, you can modify your time zone using the following procedure. Finally, verify the time zone by using the following command. Now, let's proceed to an example with an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL database instance. The same steps generally apply for both RDS for PostgreSQL database instances, as well as Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL compatible edition clusters. Note that if you create and apply a new parameter group, you will have to reboot your database instance. First from the RDS console, Let's select the RDS for PostgreSQL database instance that we want to modify. Next, navigate to the Configuration tab and look for the Parameter Group field. Choose the link to the Parameter Group for this RDS database instance from here. For an Aurora PostgreSQL compatible cluster, you can choose from either a database cluster parameter group for the regional cluster, 
or database parameter group for a single instance. Now let's search the parameters for the time zone parameter. When you find it, select Edit Parameters. PostgreSQL accepts various time zone formats according to the Postgres documentation. Be sure to reference the data type dash time zones documentation for more information. For now, I'll provide my own time zone of UTC-8 for Pacific Standard Time. And choose Preview Changes to confirm any updates. After we confirm the old and new values are as expected, let's go ahead and choose Save Changes to apply our work. Finally, you can confirm the change after the database completes the modifying stage by connecting to your RDS for PostgreSQL database and then checking the output of the show time zone command. Note that modification can take a few moments. Next, let's look into MySQL and MariaDB that share a similar process and parameter. This procedure is supported for MySQL versions 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, .5, and 8.0. You can't change the time zone in versions earlier than 5.5 with this method. You can also apply the same steps to an Amazon Aurora MySQL compatible edition database engine. From the RDS console, select the MySQL or MariaDB RDS database instance that you want to change. Next, navigate to the configuration tab and look for the parameter group field. Choose a link to the parameter group for this RDS instance. When you're in the parameter group, search for the time underscore zone parameter. Here, you can select from a pre-populated list of time zones. In my case, I'll select the US Pacific time zone. When we're satisfied that we've selected the right time zone, choose Preview Changes. And finally, choose Save Changes to apply the modifications. You can now confirm the change after the database's modification completes by connecting to your MySQL or MariaDB database instance and checking the output of the Select Global and Session Time Zone commands. Note that modification can take a few moments. And now you know how to change the time zone for your Amazon RDS database instance. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.